struggling with turnovers here. Forcing the ball inside, Markowski takes it away. And then right back by Moira Joyner. Seen it on display so far. Control too strong from three. There's Izzy Bourne, and that is the efficiency they want. And Amy Williams really wants to see her get on the boards tonight to, to help her teammates out. Ivy puts it up with the left hand, and it drops through, and one. Fires from three, and Ivy will push the offense in transition. Long three for Shelley, yes. A 7-0 run for the Huskers. But a great start for her, especially after the last seven games, shooting under 20% from three overall. Callan Hay nets another three. Her college career here at the University of Nebraska. Isn't that fantastic? That is a fantastic bit of history that Nebraska is part of. Authoring title now. And she had an opportunity there one on one, just needed to take her time. I thought she had a nice ball fake on the initial move. Can't leave Stewart the wide open against this team that drains the most threes in the Big Ten. She's on the block right now, but she's definitely more of a finesse player, a, a face up three point shooting stretch forward kind of play. Helen Hake. Hake tries to escape Parks. Markowski calling for it, being guarded by Julia Arold. Is that another three for the Huskers? That is their fourth. Kendall Moriarty knocks it down. Michigan State's got a couple of baskets now that have gone down. Let's see if that kind of gets things loosened up a little bit offensively. Eight steals for the Spartans, but the Huskers keep doing that. Maddie Kroll drills the three. And she had a good look on that last possession, wasn't able to get it to go down. Third in the Big Ten. Three pointers per game, three point percentage. Seven seconds for Kroll, kicking it out. Another three, this time Callan Hake. The Big Ten tournament, which is quickly approaching, less than 30 days away in Minneapolis. An incredible shot, plus the foul for Dee Hageman. Michigan State is out shooting Nebraska in the third quarter and are chipping into this lead and they're being aggressive. That's why Amy Williams called the timeout and they continue. This could be a big one. The first three today. Under the legendary late Pat Summit for over a dozen years at Tennessee. Won a couple championships with the Lady Balls, three final fours as well. She's got 15 points to lead all scores today. No one in double figures for the Spartans. Until that moment, Moira Joyner, a beautiful spin move. Bourne and one. Beautiful positioning by Bourne to cut into this lead. Bourne hit the three-pointer, then she made the three-point play by getting the ball inside. Matilda Eck, her second three of this half. And she had plenty of room, time, and space. A 39% three-point shooter, Sam Ivey. Was just better offensively. Hageman surveying, finds Eck again, back to back. Lost five of their last six coming into this one. They have never before won in Lincoln. Joyner trying to hold on to this possession. It stays with the Spartans and Parks finishes. Shelley throws it right to Hageman who corrals it. That was really good defense for Michigan State. Joyner, the three, it's good. The move down the court to penetrate and kick to the three point shooter. Ack, the strong finish. Defenders, the floater is beautiful. Hageman gets it right back. She's going to go right into the chest of Bourne. Three-point play. Two seconds left. Hageman is just going to throw it up. And despite a magnificent, hard-fought comeback, the 
the Spartans remain winless in Lincoln. Oh, <laughs>